let's continue Yoshi's Crafted World. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Just when I thought I was done. Pulls me back in one more time. So we're going to check out whatever... Oh. Oh. They're on the boat now. Oh, checking out the post-game content. So we're going to go... Back to Green Joshi. I don't know if I'm going to do the scavenger hunts, but we'll see. But you know what? This kind of tracks. Yoshi's Island had something like this as well. You had bonus levels, like one per world. So, they were tough. We'll see how it goes. Yahoo! Oh shit. This is very funky music. Music is getting louder. Oh my god, it's so fucking loud right now. <laughs> Same melody. Uh oh. Probably should have just done that from the beginning. It's insta death. Oh shit. Well, uh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> this is like classic Yoshi. <laughs> this is like classic now, because if you fall into the abyss, you're dead. Okay, hang on. Ugh. Oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> Great try. Okay, I have to hesitate less. Yahoo! Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Stop! No, don't you dare! <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. There we go, got it. Jeez. You have to be precise with your eggs. Music is getting louder. Oh my god, it's so fucking loud right now. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, this stage is gonna take me a while, isn't it? Pretty evil. Dude. Oh, such. I missed one. Wow, that's, uh. going to be quite I feel like I just need to just let it go. If I miss, just repeat the state. It, it just, it's probably going to get to the point where that's going to happen multiple times. Damn it. 
Got it. This is what happens when the level designers are allowed to, to fuck people up. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about difficulty. Man, I have to be really accurate here. And I need to make sure I have at least an egg at all times. Music is getting louder. Oh, oh no. I'm screwed, aren't I? I don't think there's any any salvaging this. <laughs> okay, well. I can, I can at least agree that the stage is fun. It's got a lot of... Oh, you know what? I probably need all of them. If I was to... to guess, I'm gonna need every last thing. Like, it's not gonna be lenient in the slightest here. This is probably going to take multiple attempts. Oh, I'm out of eggs. And I'm dead. <laughs> I think at that point I should have five. I don't know. We'll see. to salvage this as a... Oh, maybe. Dude, why doesn't it... I don't get why it doesn't gather the coins. Maybe I should let them fall on me, I don't know. Maybe jumping is a bad idea. Signed up for this. Mm -hmm. 
Whoops. Ah! That was dumb. It's okay. I've still got enough. Okay. I have to be careful here. There we go. Why, 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 why? Hang on, my phone's ringing. Alright, sorry guys, it was just about Father's Day. I had to answer it. But yeah. Ugh. The stage. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while. But you know what? I'm fine with it because it just reminds me of the bonus stages in Yoshi's Island. That's a good thing. I'm not one to shy away from difficulty. from here. Yeah, there we go. The thing that I don't get is why the coins don't get gathered when I jump into them. You're like, this explosion of coin- this is so not fair. <laughs> it's random as well, it's just like... Ugh. I just have to hope that the explosion of coins gets collected for the most part. Like, I'm pretty sure I have to be at five red coins at that point. Standing still doesn't help. But see, those are collected fine. I don't know why the coins behave weird. I swear, how many fall? No. The worst part is I can't fall down to chase him. It's just, it's an instant death. I'm playing classic mode. Fuck, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna become one of these streams, isn't it? Oh no. I'm not gonna finish this today. Clearly. I guess it depends how many of these kind of stages there are. This happened in Kirby as well. Kirby and the Forgotten Land had some post-game content that was pretty tricky. Kinda came out of nowhere. I feel like I'm on a Japanese game show. Okay, so four is the number. Just how the obstacle course is designed to fuck you over at every turn.
I'm not gonna risk my life on this one. Oh no. Oh, you've got to be kidding. No! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's not fair! Ugh, I need a minute. I need to drink some water. I almost had it. It was the one target, that's all. This just reminds me of when I was playing um, Triforce Heroes and there was that boss where I had to keep perfect equilibrium the whole time. This is exactly that again. No, even even when, hang on. Is there a point where I can, no, it's, it's always going to move. Even if I get like as close to perfect center as I can, this fucking thing is always going to move. Like, you can't just stand on it, ever. Okay. Dude. <laughs> this is so sadistic. Okay, I did get the four coins. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, as long as it says four. I'm just gonna ignore it, it's fine. Practice like kind of okay. I need to practice this. I need to be good at like jumping and shooting. Okay, it's that repetitive motion. Oh, <laughs> wait, does one miss? What do you no, no, just keep going. Just keep going. I probably did one of the hardest ones to do. I will worry about the missing ones later. I will just do a second trip. Oh my god, this is scary. 
No. Okay. Don't worry about it in the second trip. Got it. I knew it. Oh, what the? Recover! Recover! <laughs> I think I got the hardest ones done. Alright, I just need to find the flower. Okay. Just the middle one. All right, but everything else is done. Is there a flip side to this? There's no flip side. There is a hide and seek. I don't know where the one I missed is. But at least I can kinda... Skip through this for the most part. I bet the hide and seek robot is not straightforward either. Where I would, would have missed that other flower. Oh, is it? No, but then how would I get? It? That was the only thing I could think of. Is like maybe a rebound shot. No, I just down there. I see it. Ugh. Okay. Now just finish the stage. Did not see the robot at all. Oh wait. It's just the box. Okay. Exit course. Keep playing. No wait, keep playing. Exit course means I lose the flower. <laughs> hey, that's not too bad. That was just the first stage. Okay. Very expensive.
under siege. I was kind of worried that stage was going to have me attempting it for an hour. Yahoo! I can get on board if... Oh, what now? Oh, no. Ready for another egg? Another egg? Not nah, restrict. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I see where this one's going already. Wow. I don't like this. <laughs> I already don't like this. It's like, just a game of uh, throwing eggs quickly. Oh no, I need more, I need more eggs, 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 eggs. I'm just not gonna bother with trying <laughs> to avoid the alarm for lost cause. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Got it. No, I need more eggs! <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a second trip of this. <sighs> it's not giving me any eggs. Dude, eggs. <laughs> Just, oh no. No! Oh shit. That's a retry. <laughs> I don't like this stage already. I think the best way to play this is just do your best. And if you fail at getting something, just get it on another attempt. Just don't restart. Unless you fall off the edge. Egg! The baby game has ended. <laughs> oh no. There's a present in the background. Couldn't get it. I, I have to. It's gonna bother me otherwise. to get that left hand side. It's just normal coins. Good. 
need to be on top of my egg game. No! Oh, come on, man, no. Okay, well, that's a miss. There goes all my... Oh, I'm not gonna get the health one this time, let's just focus on... Whatever this is. What a stage. Okay, I got the red coin thing. Alright, now I just have to not take damage and focus on the flowers. right here. Yahoo! These stages are gonna take me a couple of hours. I get the feeling that's just what's gonna happen. Okay. Hey, Cammy, what's up? <laughs> Alright, um... I can kind of ignore the first part of the stage, more or less. I guess just focus on not triggering the, uh, triggering the alarm. do the health one as well. I can ignore that one, I did that one. Okay, I know where the box is. Just playing some difficult stages. They're more in the style of the classic Yoshi. Or if you fall in a hole, that's it, you're dead. Oh, no, I can't. I, I have to have health. I have to have health for this. do this. Uh, keep playing. There's stuff to be done.
Alright, at least I know what the mystery is. This one's just health. Hit. Okay, so now there's one left. Where is it? Oh shit. <laughs> it's okay, I can take I can take a few hits. It's gotta be to the left. That's the only spot I didn't check. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Alright, it's two stages. This is my question of the stages. Should I be concerned that there's a robot here? Floppin' and poppin'. Oh, this looks painful. Again, over an abyss. Jeez. Oh boy. Okay, hang in that. Can I only imagine what a Yoshi game would be like if it just completely leaned into this difficulty? It's probably a waste. I just wasn't sure. So good. Oh, what fresh hell is this? I knew it. it was like the moment I saw there, saw this in the thumbnail. I knew that it was going to be this. Oh, 
Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, that's quite the maneuver I had to do. But I got the feeling... Is this actually the way up? Oh no, this is actually the way up. But also, why do I get the feeling that it's hi- It's hiding shit. Of course it is. No! I don't know if it's hiding anymore. It's, it's a serious doubt. Okay. I find one with a lot of health. Dude. <laughs> These moves I'm having to pull off. more over here, isn't there? No. Really? I'm shocked. Of course. Alright, it should come back up, hopefully. That's the only way to do that. I, I have to get rid of the box. Got it. I can't trust that there's nothing here. <laughs> So if you don't have an egg here, you're basically fucked. <laughs> Got it. Oh no, what now? I don't have any eggs. Hang on. That's the end of the stage. Oh, 
Oh my god. No chance. This is like... Alright, I'm gonna have to repeat it. <laughs> I didn't get the health one, I didn't get the red coin one. I didn't get anything. Just the one. There's a scavenger hunt. <laughs> That's what it is. I just realized what it is. The scavenger hunts in this, these stages. Okay. I gotta stockpile my eggs. That's the first half I don't have to worry because there is an egg box. This went a lot better this time, I didn't hesitate. Oh. It's actually pretty simple to get up here. No. I did go to the left, I remember the coins there. So it's not that. You know what? I should probably drop at this point. I know this is weird, but I need eggs. I got the feeling that's what I'm gonna have to do is just come back to this part and get eggs. I can't think of a better way to do it. I'm not sure why the camera lets you go there, but maybe it's, it's just to fake you out. I got- I did get that. 
I'm going all the way across this time. I just wanna be sure. Feeling it's here. Bingo. Okay, that's all the red coins. This part's gonna suck. Oh no, this- no, this is- Oh my god. <laughs> Got it. I was like, this is so hard! do that at the very least with these stages. Okay, so looking for a box in the background. Yahoo! I'm just happy the music is going to be this catchy song, so... I mean, I know it's the same melody, but at least it's not a recorder and it sounds good. if it quite possibly could have been at the end. I guess we'll see. Songs feel feels like as if it was a remix to the original, you know? It's like, oh, you have the classic recorder song, but then you have this remix, which is like the dance remix. anywhere. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, I released the button too early. 
Oh, that's a. F <laughs> uh. Oh, it's wow, that's sneaky. You know what? Wow. That worked out. Alright, no doubt it's, it can hide at the start of the stage as well. I got lucky. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Get to see this stage again. This stage, I think, is the most evil of the ones that I've played today. Yahoo! It looks visually nice, but it is damn evil. I don't see why. Don't worry about that, I just want the eggs. I don't think this is going to be tricky to do, but we'll see. I knew they were going to be the ones in the second course. All right. I kind of have, well, I guess we'll see, more incentive to do the hide and seek thing. I thought it'd be tedious, but it's not, it's not that bad. Okay, just focus on collecting eggs. Alright, there we go. Stockpile. Another. 
dude, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything's fine. These aren't difficult to find. I think they're easy to find. It's just because the stage is tricky to navigate. You just have to survive the stage. Yeah, I knew it'd be the Kamek thing. Yahoo! This is easily the best song in the soundtrack. Next to the chill one. The one that sounds like it's for an underwater theme. I haven't seen one yet. Oh, there's one. Shot. There's one down there. to the left. That's why you can go to the left, because there's one hidden there. Good. No, I'm wrong. One more. Now there's one more. Please tell me... no... no... Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> Backtrack. I was kind of hoping there'd be one last one at the very end there. But 
But I got the feeling it's like hitting at the start behind where I start. Where is it? Oh no. It's gonna be in some annoying spot, clearly. Here. Maybe to the left of this? Or to the right, sorry. There was one to the right already, I doubt- yeah. I doubt there'd be one lower. Alright, so what- where? Ugh, it's gonna be like a line of sight thing now. impatient. Uh, okay. Last one. It's got to be somewhere here. Sneaky bastard. There we go. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to get me to do one more. No, that's it. Okay. That's hidden hills. It looks like there's still more. Still have about 300 of them. Can't thank you enough. I live for incredible views. But I get the feeling that the flowers are like I'm not gonna spend them all. 
Oh, what the hell? I get the feeling this is as many flowers as I'm gonna get, and it's just like, there's extras. Chase that noise. Well, 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 I see you made it to my hideout. I'm still in a tizzy over your treatment of his waspishness the other day. Your cruelty knows no end. Well, I'll set you straight myself this time. Wait a minute. It's the first part. Oh, is this just gonna be harder versions? This is gonna be harder versions of the, the fights, isn't it? Oh no, it's on. It's on temporary blocks. Okay. Okay. I don't like this. Okay. Jeez. Oh, oh no, I see. I see what it's done. Holy shit. Ugh. Oh, this is... This is gonna be really difficult. <laughs> oh no! Dude! Ugh. Oh, come on, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get a single egg. I'm fucked. What is what what is this? There's no leeway either, there's no health being gathered. Wow, fuck that. <laughs> I have to do the whole thing again, watch. Yeah, wow, oh, this is gonna be tough. I think I need to get a costume that has more health. As much as I hate to give up the cow. I'm going to use this phase to get eggs. I think that's the strategy. Just don't bother hitting it right away. Just get eggs. Because then that sets me up for the rest of the phases. And it just becomes a dodging game. Because this phase is not too bad to dodge. Okay, that's three eggs. Okay. 
This is the way. Okay, one more egg, one more egg, one more egg. That's fine, I got six eggs. All right, let's go. That, that's worrisome. Okay. Oh. Fuck it. Ugh. Okay, I have the right idea. I just have to be patient. I'm good at dodging and aiming. Shit. I got impatient there. Uh, that's six. All right. Yep, that's six eggs. All right. Ready. Pencil time. Holy shit. Got ya. Alright. Now we're talking. Ooh, the dodge has to be so precise here. Come 
on, man. Where's, where's the... Okay. It's all not over. Oh, shit. Holy crap. Oh no. Okay, got it that time. God. No! Ah! Oh, that's all I have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> I have to do the whole thing again. I know. Yep. This is classic Yoshi now. The baby game has ended. This is actually the final boss here. Yeah. The fight from yesterday? No, <laughs> that was not even remotely close. It's okay, I'll just go for it now. I had more than enough eggs. Now I've seen what, what happens. the hardest hit to land of all. This one just requires specific dodging. so hard. So you have to get it perfect, otherwise it doesn't count. 
I've already lost. Reminds you of Cuphead, these last bits, very similar. You know what? Yeah, a little bit. Dif difficulty has definitely ramped up. It's not as annoying, but I can definitely see. Like, you just have to dodge properly. But hey, Nick, though. I mean, the stages that I was doing earlier reminded me of just the bonus stages in Yoshi's Island. They were hard. But this is... This is cool that they've done this. Yeah, no, Cuphead is a lot harder. I would love to see them lean into, like, this kind of difficulty for a Yoshi game. Definitely much easier because it's a kid's game. I don't know if, if, if being a kid's game has anything to do with it. Games in the 90s were designed as a kid's game. <laughs> they were hard as fuck. You can have kids' games be difficult. Like even Kirby, the end of Kirby was pretty tricky. The uh, Forgotten Land one, it had a pretty good sequence at the end with the final fight. I've noticed Nintendo have started doing this more and more with Switch games, is just... They include something at the end just that's really hard. Odyssey did it as well. This is a lot of fun. I just kind of want to play a version of this game that's this hard all the way through. I need it. I should pick. If I fail, I should pick a costume that has more health. It's gonna matter. How's it going? Okay. Let's try again. I don't know if the charge attack is worth it. I think I just need to get the timing of the normal attacks correct. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, focus. No, oh, I jumped, you dick. Okay. Almost like a three day weekend, nice. Oh, uh, well, that was alright. Just normal work day. Can't complain. Oh, you. I almost had it. I almost had it. I just needed to go low for that last one. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. The thing is, it's very easy to do the wrong input diagonally. Like, even I'm trying with the D-pad. The problem with the Switch's D-pad is it's just very easy to register a down input, despite you pressing left or right. It's a problem with this controller. The D-pad is just too sensitive, and the analog stick is worse for this, so... I, I've tried both already. The worst game to play with the Pro Controller is Tetris, because you will accidentally slam the piece down. You know what? I might s I have an idea. If I fail it this time... I'll swap to my Super Nintendo controller and watch me get it like first try. I probably should have played the game the whole time with that controller, but. I say bring on the era again of just hard, hard games for kids. for games like Mega Man, Zelda 2, Mario 1 to some extent, because that game is difficult. Ghosts and Goblins, man, that game was rough. I don't know if I'd be as good as games at games as I am now. Like, I'm alright, I'm not an expert by any means, but... Me being able to play things well just comes from that. Battle toads, battle toads, oh man, battle toads. <laughs> nice, no health loss. Good, all right, I just need to keep it up. Oh, this, this one in this jumps. I only took one hit, so as long as I stick to that, I have a good chance. To be on that right away. Okay. Nice, I'm gonna have lots of health for this. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, 
unfortunately misclick. I'm gonna swap to the Super Nintendo controller. I swear I pressed the correct input. Direction wise. It's one of those things that it's fine 90% of the time, 10% of the time, you'll do the wrong thing. And eh, for the most part, it's not gonna punish you, but when it comes to doing something extremely accurate, it sucks. Damn it. Wrong, wrong thing, wrong thing. Okay. Alright, Super Nintendo controller, where you at? <laughs> One sec. We need an accurate D-pad. I've said this before, but we got the D-pad correct in the 16-bit era. Both the Genesis and the Super Nintendo had excellent D-pads. I haven't experienced better ones since those controllers. Um, hold on. One sec. I need the USB-C cable. Or a USB-C cable. I got one. I'm just <laughs> getting it out of my desk. Okay, there it is. Uh, and... It's just so I can sync it up and not do the wireless thing. It's just... Turn on the controller. There we go. Okay, um, one sec. Old Faithful. Alright. We'll see how this goes. Oh man, this is like an extra level of nostalgia now. Now it feels like I'm playing Yoshi's Island. I should have been playing it with this controller the whole time. <laughs> Just already, I'm like, not only from a nostalgia point of view, but yeah. Any platformer, I'm just gonna play with this controller. It is just so good.
така. No, I missed. This is the hardest phase to get correct. It's okay. This is why I got the extra egg, so I just focus on dodging and not trying to get the egg. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I might have to retry. No. Nah. That's a lot harder. That wasn't a D-pad thing, it was the aim. I just shot it too low. D-pad was fine, I just aimed too low. Probably got away with four eggs, to be honest. I don't need all six. I think if I fail at that point, the contingency doesn't really work. Oops. That was uh, a bit too close for comfort. Okay, got it. Ah, we go. We're good now. Okay, I'm ready. the last one, I mistimed it. Okay, that was my bad. This one's hard, admittedly. Fuck! It's almost like a rhythm game. Picked up by the job. <laughs> Damn it. I song low. It should have been middle. Okay. That did feel a lot better overall, though. I'm sticking to the controller. Uh, I got fecked out by the jumping one. I gotta remember the last one is a middle, not a bottom swing. 
It's like middle than bottom. Bad positioning. That was unlucky. He appeared on the opposite side and I couldn't get across to him to throw the egg quickly. I'm gonna try like a first round hit. Let's just see what happens if I do this. I haven't exactly been missing my eggs. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay, recovered. <laughs> There we go. I wish I got a little more health. I su suppose if I put on a better costume, it would be better. swing. Wait, I can jump. Oh, I can jump, but ugh. I don't think the jumping's gonna help. Like, I feel like the jumping's just gonna make things worse. Because I have to hit them all. It's not like dodging is gonna help here. It's all of them have to be hit. In the face. Almost. Oh, so close. Just the last two I messed up. I did it again, I went down. <laughs> oh, come on. Hmm. 
Motherfucker, I can't, I can't swing low enough. Quick enough. That last one's a doozy going from like up and then down. It's the closest I've gotten. Alright, well, I can just go straight to it. I don't have to gather eggs. It's just... I'm assuming that's the last hit. It's gotta be. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, I'm retrying. <laughs> I'm not... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna put on a better costume. That's gonna help a little, I think. Well, let me take a mental break from this for a minute, too. Um, costumes... Just anyone that's, I guess... Like a five. Yeah, that'll do. Yahoo! Okay. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't. Yep, cupcake. Cupcake to get the victory. Even if it gives me one more attempt. I'm not allowing myself to take damage. I need all the health I can get. At least in the first part, like... The pencil part! That's probably the part where I will concede damage. A muffin is just an ugly cupcake. You can have nice looking muffins. Just depends on if you're into the frosting. Some people don't like frosting. <laughs> okay. There's no icing or sprinkles, but it doesn't make it a bad thing, does it? close with that. Alright, here we go. Hmm. 
Come on. I like that hit. That already... That sucks, because I took two hits there. That is kind of... That is pretty brutal. Oh, so I got one less attempt now. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. The part that I struggled on last time, I got it. I missed one. I would have had it otherwise. <sighs> okay. Let's try again. I'll get it. I'm pretty close. Like, I've got the fight down. It's just. Getting the sequence correct. No. Oh, I'm fucked. That was unlucky. I took a hit <laughs> and it made me go slightly lower. Oh my god, that's so annoying, not retrying. If I miss the first... The first, uh, cycle, the second cycle is just too brutal. I'm gonna lose too much health from it. Oh. <laughs> 
it's sort of salvaged. Messy, but I'll take it. Okay, I mean, it's, it's okay. I want to have full health, but I might not necessarily need it. wasn't a direction thing, I just did not press the button quick enough. Oh, oh this is a terrible attempt. not over. Oh my god, this one's just actual health. No, you have to charge, you have to charge, you have to charge it. It's two charge attacks at the end. It has to be. But I got, I got it both times, just... You can't attack quick enough at the end, there has to be a charge attack. I got complacent. <laughs> I thought that was it. unlucky.
I'm practicing for the last one. I don't think you can charge it quick enough. Motherfucker. <laughs> I hate... Oh, you have to get it perfect. This last one sucks. <clears throat> no. Nah. I got tilted. So hard. <laughs> I don't know, the charge attack doesn't feel right. Like, it just takes too long to wind up. I can get one off, but the second one, it, it, I just don't think gives you enough time to do it before you get hit. Bad enough that you have to get that ridiculous combo before you even get to that point. Yoshi, please don't. Not now's not the time. <laughs> Do not deviate. Oh. This is making me kind of want to play Hollow Knight, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, this just reminds me of the shit that you have to do in Hollow Knight a little bit. This part. This part is. This part feels like Battle Toads. <laughs> Just having to do something very specific, and if you miss, bad luck. enough time to charge it. No! Oh! I missed one!
All right, cool. Oh uh, yeah, that's that stage done. <laughs> Congratulations, you cleared all the courses. Yay. I got the Kamek outfit. You can now play boss challenges. <laughs> wow, it just keeps going. Yoshi, you are stellar. I watched the entirety of your battle from here. I was so enwrapped that I completely forgot to feed myself. I'm famished. 300. Where are the remaining 17? What do you mean? What do you mean I'm missing 18? Oh god. Clear it without taking any damage. Clear it without causing any platforms. Clear it in 2 minutes 50. That's just- oh my god! There's more. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, shit. I mean, I can, I think I can realistically do that. But pretty much it's don't take damage and I have it. That's, that's the end result. Don't take damage, I have it. That's, that's it. I need a break from it for a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's where they are. Look at this. Ah, ha. Wow. So this is almost like a new game plus, kinda. All right, we gotta we gotta go back to humble beginnings. I don't think I'm gonna finish this today. <laughs> Like, I kind of want to see it through to the end. Yeah, the game is great. The auditor's asking of me now is, is quite something. Alright, let's do the hide-and-seek stuff. It's actually not that bad, the hide-and-seek. I thought it'd be something very obscure and annoying, but it's, it's fine. So I guess if you haven't seen the stages, you get to see them now. I'm just gonna be rushing through them, more or less. Look for a cardboard box anywhere in the stage. This is probably the most content full Yoshi game I've played ever. Alright, there it is. So that's what we're looking for every time. It's not that bad. Wait, it was just the one stage here? 
Apparently so. Alright. We can kind of get an idea as to how long this game would take if I didn't get all the collectibles and just ran through the stages. grow up with Yoshi's Island, I don't know if I would have tried to 100% this. <laughs> the music is getting louder, yep. Now, you can't unhear that melody. Saying it. There you are. All right. It's that one. It's all right. There's only thirty eight to go. <laughs> Thirty-eight to go. I, think, oh, I mean, if I push it, I could probably finish this today. And the wild card is just what it's going to ask me to do in those bosses, honestly. Most of those bosses I can beat without taking damage. There was just a couple that were tricky, but most I could do. And then the, the bonus objective, whatever it is, like it's some gimmick. Just that last one, man. Just don't take damage, do it quickly. It's pretty much have the perfect run. Okay, there it is. Easy. We'll see how we are for time. Wait, how's it going to work in the Yoshi stage? The, uh, m machine. Unless it's like at the start or at the end of the stage. We'll see. Oh man, this stage. This is the stage that made me notice the, the recorder way too much. I just, I could not find those red coins in this stage. Okay, 
I might have to look behind things. I wouldn't be surprised if it's hidden behind a shape or something. Or like behind some of this stuff. It hasn't been tricky, so hopefully I won't have to destroy anything to find it. Oh, Poochie. <laughs> I just worry it's going to be hidden behind stuff. I don't know. Is there. Yeah, it's there. Okay. I feel like this could have been put with the other scavenger hunt things. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is. I gotta find it, I guess. Okay. Yahoo! I wonder how this works. Maybe I just have to punch it. Because there's no egg shooting, so I don't know. This is my training course for the final boss. I didn't get the UFO. I hope it wasn't up there. a miss. Okay, now I know how it works. Yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine this was takes inspiration for, from Godzilla. I've never seen one of those movies properly.
Do I have an Ava? Yeah. I guess I just haven't... Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> Step again. What am I doing? Ugh, this is why I need practice. They released the, uh, the live adaptation of One Piece today. Just surprisingly. I didn't know it had a release date. It felt like it just popped out of nowhere, but it's out now. I kind of feel tempted to watch it later. If not tomorrow. It is Thursday today. I'll probably watch it tomorrow instead. And I hit it! I need to charge it. I need to charge it. I need to just... <sighs> this shouldn't be something I'm struggling with. I also have a who who would watch it. He doesn't like anime, so since it's live action, maybe he'll watch Ah. I mean, by the looks of it, it seems pretty faithful. It looks like it's going to have anime vibes to it. I mean, as far as live-action adaptation goes, it seems... seems better... than the norm, but... You know, a trailer doesn't exactly reveal everything about it. Being sneaky sneaky. <laughs> Loki trick him into watching anime. Wait a minute, these characters seem to be very kawaii ugu. What's going on here? Finally got it. I'm gonna struggle with those Yoshi stages. say this is the theme that feels the most different I mean it's still got the melody all the songs do but at least it feels very distinct Catch up on Demon Slayer. Once I'm done with One Piece, I focus on one thing at a time. I'm getting there. I'm almost up to date with One Piece. I reckon in the next month or so I'll get there. I accidentally hit that. Did not mean to. Well, you heard the Infinite Castle arc would be three movies. Damn. I mean, I guess they're cashing in, because those movies did really well. I 
They're all good movies. Like the ones, not the new three, but <laughs> the ones that... Yeah. I'm so stressed about these this box being in an obscure spot. It hasn't been so far. Like it's been pretty out in the open. You gotta catch up. I will. Oh, there it is. There we go. It's pretty much, I'm kind of like the same at One Piece, like I'm two arcs behind for One Piece, so. Mind you, two One Piece arcs are pretty long, but I'll get through them. I watch a couple of episodes each day almost. Sometimes I'll binge watch a lot of them, but at least I'm going through two. Just not enough time in the day. I could catch up with all that anime, but then I wouldn't stream. Like if I really wanted to, I'll just be like, alright, I'll take a week or two off streaming. You won't see me for a week or two, but then I'll be caught up on the anime. I hope I don't have to skill shot this, but most likely I will. Two weeks is a long time. Yeah. In streamer time, it is a very long time. Honestly, I've heard of content creators and streamers being afraid of taking even two days off. Oh, there it is. Why? Because when you get to that upper end of content creating, if you do, you miss out on money, but also there's, like, just people unfollowing. <laughs> it's just this thing that happens. I've heard a, a couple larger streamers talk about it, and one of them took a week off and lost, like, a pretty large amount of people in terms of following. I don't know if people are impatient, I guess. But you gotta balance that shit, like, because it leads to burnout. Sometimes you have to take that hit. People, yeah, people aren't allowed to have a life. So There are some people that genuinely get angry if the streamer goes, I need to go have a drink of water, or I need to go, like, have a bathroom bake, break, bake, break. A bathroom bake off. <laughs> bathroom break. It's kind of not a large percentage of people, it's, it's a small vocal minority, but it does happen. The ones that fall into that category of that chat member that was like, Hey, you didn't pay attention to me in the first 15 seconds of me being here. Fuck you. Exactly. The PS4 emote sums it up perfectly. 
<laughs> Chat, it might think like I'm exaggerating, but that's literally what happened the other day. Alright, let's give this a go. Uh, clear quickly, don't take damage. Attach a magnet when the boss's face is red. Alright, let's try. Some people need to learn patience. Yeah. I mean, it could be a maturity thing, it could be an age thing, it could just be... These days, like, media consumption is just in short bursts and everything is, like, very low attention span. Could just be that the person is a dick. But, you know, 99% of the people don't do that. Boss is red. Oh, like here. That's interesting. How am I supposed to do that? Let's just focus on the no damage aspect, I guess. Wait, how long do I get? One minute and 25. What the fuck? I have 20 seconds to beat this. How do I beat it so quickly? I've already failed. All right, don't do, don't, just don't take damage. Oh, I see. That's when it's sweeping. Okay, uh, let's just retry. No, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's when it's doing that sweeping attack, it's red. <laughs> so you just have to, like, right away off the bat, just don't fuck around. You get no wiggle room, it's just straight away you have to hit that shit. Oh, I see. Yeah, you really have to be very accurate with that. I might be able to get the 1 minute 20 goal. Yeah, eggs don't do anything. Oh, this is going to be tight. Hurry up. No, I have to I have to hit it in midair. Alright, we'll go for the no <laughs> No damage one first. What hey <laughs> Dude. Okay, no damage has been achieved. Now I can take damage and just play aggressively. I get the feeling this might be a bit too annoying to pull off. Confidence is waning, but we'll see. <laughs> Gotta be like the dog whisperer. Don't reason with that, just dominate it. Be the pack leader. Good. Good start. Already fucked it. Oh, 
I wish there was a way to speed it up. Wow, that's so hard. That is very tricky to pull off. There's gotta be a way to interrupt its skills. Hard man. That was better, but still 10 seconds off. Like I have to achieve the other goal. I have to hit it when it's red. That's that's the clue. If I don't manage that latch, it's just I'm not gonna get it done in time. I could probably get it to 130 at best. The good news is I think I only have to do it once. Doing it once is enough to cut off the time required. So it's not like I need to do it twice. But it, it is tricky. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. My bad. I got to right away. I gotta... I gotta practice arcing it better. Okay, that's more or less what I need to do. The problem is the rats is just kind of erratic. I can't really rely on getting the magnet right away. Oh, nearly. Okay, I got one more chance at it. I might give up on this. If all of them are gonna be like this, I'm gonna spend like an hour on a boss. The no damage thing is no problem. It's more this... The timing one. It requires you do like very specific things. Probably not in the mood for it. I mean... Man, I, I would not have expected this in a Yoshi game, I'll tell you that much. You have to, like, be so precise. I right, got one more chance.
Gotcha! Okay, I got one. <laughs> I'm three seconds off. I think I know how to nail it now. Don't go for the first one, go for the second one. Okay. Man. Don't stress. First hit's gonna be a miss. Or not. <laughs> Never mind. First hit was a success. I need to nail both of them. Oh, I messed it up. I threw it. Okay, try again. I wonder if it appears in the same spot both times. It doesn't seem to be random. Hang on. Let me do that again. Good. Pretty satisfying to land that. Somehow I now have the first one, but not the second one. <laughs> it's okay. It's only one second. <laughs> Can we get it to Nasty Mo? What would it even be? It has to be something unique, because Twitch doesn't allow just words anymore. 
from what I've read. Like, they get pretty... picky. I missed. <laughs> right. Just a rainbow with the words. I mean, I guess that classifies as not just being words. The problem is I don't have any more remote slots. Other than the animated one. I guess I could animate one. We only get like five. And then three, I believe. If I make it animated, I can I can make it happen. Oh, like the perfect one where it goes to each letter. Yeah, with that one I screen recorded though. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't make it. I mean, okay, I did it with a video editor. <sighs> I need to focus. <laughs> I'm missing it. I had it correct, and now I'm not getting it. Yeah, why, why can't that be tenacity? <laughs> kind of, I know it's kind of rage, but... Oh my... Ugh. I just missed it. So, like, I feel like when those moments happen, I am making noises and kind of... would probably have that face. Doesn't say it's now, so he doesn't have to say it. Does it? It's such a long word. That's <laughs> I can already imagine how it's gonna turn out. The text is gonna be tiny as fuck, and you probably won't be able to read the word. Well, I guess per yeah, I'm. You can't even- I'm looking at the other monitor, I can't even read the word perfect, either. Maybe my eyes are just shit now. <laughs> like, I know it says the word, because I know what it is, but if I look at it, I can't actually read the letters. It just looks like a bunch of lights above Lily a warrior. Maybe it looks better on mobile, I don't know. Okay, I'm ready. There we go. Do I wear glasses? No, I used to. I feel like I'll have to again one day, but I don't think my vision's bad. I mean, I, I say that, but like, I, I guess I can't really say that until I get my eyes checked. There we go. When did I go for an eye exam last? <laughs> like in my 20s. Still fine then. I don't know, like it's... I don't... I haven't felt like I've had issues. I... Things still feel... Fine, I don't get headaches. I don't really have anything that would hint, hmm. 
bad vision. I'm not squinting. I don't have to, like, change the default zoom on my browser or anything like that. Okay, that's done. I wasn't aware that you have to keep checking your eyes, like, every year or something. Once a year? Really? <laughs> I don't know, that seems a bit excessive. Like, even when I wore glasses, I don't think I even checked them once a year back then, either. Your eyes get old. Oh, no, I know, like, it's an inevitability. Well, from what I remember, it was like... I wore glasses, and then a year and a half later, I didn't. I was young at the time, so maybe I don't remember. But, like, after that, I didn't see an optometrist for a while. <laughs> Like, it was probably another five years before I did. When I was a bit older. No, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there's like a general answer to this. Okay, so, this is what Google says. As a general rule of thumb, everyone should have their eyes checked every two years. So, that's the recommendation. So I'm definitely, like, overdue as fuck. I get it. But I, I definitely felt like once a year. Because I feel like it was, like, every two years. Yeah, I'm past overdue, but it's def there's definitely no need to go every year. Like, even when I wore glasses, I remember there was quite a gap before I went again. Like, it wasn't- it wasn't more than two years. Like, I remember it being roughly a year and a half. Something like that. So, my memory is okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't- I don't remember enough about it. That's the thing. Mind you, this is like, just generally off a of Google search, so it's like, grain of salt. I'm not a doctor. I'm sure Google isn't either. I don't want to be the person that's like, well, WebMD tells me that you only need it every two years. What the fuck's going on here? Like, let's just have that caveat there, right? Like, but just, I, I remember that even when I wore glasses as a kid, it was at least a year and a half. It was not a year later when I got checked in on. But I can't, I can't confirm that. I'd have to ask my parents.
I think it's one of those, uh, they say regardless is health. I'll see them this weekend, they're like an awesome, yeah, maybe. So, I mean, the thing is, I feel like it's something they, like, at my mom at the very least would have asked about. Because the one thing in my 20s, when I moved out, that she would ask about constantly was like, have you gotten a checkup at the doctor? Have you gone to the dentist? Those were the two things, like, basically once a year she would ask. She never asked about the op optometrist, and this is why, like, I'm like, do you really need to see it that often? Again, not a doctor. But that's the founding that I have of not believing you need to go that often. How old was I when I stopped wearing glasses? Six? Seven, maybe? Around that. That wasn't for long. I think I got them when I was four, and then I either stopped when I was six, or stopped in that period. Like, by the time I got to elementary school, I wasn't wearing them anymore. Why did I need them? I don't know, I just needed them. No idea. I just know that I wore them. <laughs> I, I have no recollection of why. Or even what it was like to wear them. It's just I know that I had them at some point. There's photos and stuff and... I just don't remember seeing myself wearing glasses, that's all. It, I was young, you know? I was, it's not like I was an adult or anything. Memories around that age are pretty fuzzy. to wear them eventually like I imagine once I get into my 40s they're gonna become a requirement that's fine I mean not to like live but I guess at the very least to read That's just it. It's just that point in getting old, man. But I got the feeling it's hidden behind one of, the, one of these. thing. I guess I have a choice whether or not I want to pursue this, you know? <laughs> I don't know if people are getting sick of this game. Because now it's not so much progress, it's now, okay. This is the part where I hit my head against a brick wall for a few hours. I'm happy to, like, just leave it here. It's up to me. Well, as long as people are still enjoying the game, then... I'm happy to keep trying it, but... I, there are other games I want to play. 
Particularly the new RPG that's come out, Sea of Stars. Because I've heard it's quite good. I haven't seen the box at all. Let me get a second opinion on this thing. Okay, the Australia... Well, the Victorian government, which is the state that I live in, says two years as well except unless you have your eye uh, unless you have a diagnosed eye condition or another type of medical condition that could affect your eyes you may like it's just once every two years that's pretty much it okay see now i'm more willing to believe the two-year thing because it's not just a random google thing What does the US government say? I'm si I'm seeing like just two years across the board. Two to three years. Two 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 years. Three years. Two years. Two, three years. Three years. Three years. Basically, until you get to the age of 40, it's two years, some of them are saying, and then once you're above the age of 60, it's annually. Like, unless you're a pensioner, that's basically when you should go every year. And that's fair. Like, I'd be doing it every year at that point. Well, yeah, it's either... It's... If you have a diagnosed condition, or you're an old person, Two years is enough. I know I'm still overdue. It doesn't change the fact that I'm overdue. I know. But just, I, yeah. Every year is overkill. If you don't have an existing condition. They probably make you book it in every year just to get money. <laughs> That's the reality of it. Is like as much as doctors are there to help, some of these places are there to make money. Which is kind of a sad reality. Is like medicine and money is a thing. Especially since I'm on the computer all day, I'll need that blue light protector. Oh no, I got red light reduction. Or oh, blue light reduction, sorry, not red light reduction. I got, like, all those programs that reduce that light at night. Way ahead on that one. I've had that for a very long time. Before it even became a thing in, um... In all operating systems. There's a program for that. Yeah, it's called Flux on PC and Mac. And then phones have it now, but there used to be like apps that did it as well. iPad should have that feature. It's called, um, fuck, what's it called? Night Shift, I believe. If It's in your settings. If you search. Um, uh, fuck, where is it? <laughs> Yeah, just look up Night Shift on your iPad, and then you can set it. 
and you can set how warm the screen is, which means just the level of blue light that gets cut from it. No, it should it should already be on there. Like the iPad, iOS has had it for a long time, and Mac OS and iPad OS, they've all had it. But for Windows, um, yeah, Flux, it's called. I've had it for a very long time. I definitely felt a difference the moment I set that shit up, like... You'd be surprised the difference it makes, especially if you work with computers constantly. And you have to look at screens, like, late into the evening. I don't see the box. Is my computer for work mine, or is it owned by the company? It's mine. You can... ...bring your own laptop, and I figured it was a better idea. Because I didn't want... Because I work with, like, graphic design software and all that stuff, it's just... I needed something that had a bit more power than what they were- that you usually get. So it just means I'm able to do my job better. And I can claim it as a tax deduction, so, you know, it does help. This computer is there, you don't know if you can add something to their system. I mean, you can ask, you can argue that it's like a case of, uh... Like, health and well-being. I mean, some companies are more strict about that. They, like, make it a rule that you can't install stuff that isn't authorized by their IT personnel. But you can probably ask about the program if you find it in Linker. You just say, listen, this is blue light reduction. It's for... Health and well-being. That's something that, if anything, will increase productivity. Put it in those terms, it's kinda... I mean, I'm sure they've probably heard of the thing. You could probably get a doctor to help you out with that. Just say, you know, you've been getting headaches and they recommend that you at night time, use blue light reduction stuff. They're just lazy? Yeah, probably. I don't know where this thing is. I feel like I've looked. Unfortunately, this is one of these stages where there's a point of no return in it. It doesn't want to work? What doesn't want to work? Oh, I see. That depends. There's definitely a stereotype of them, like, not wanting things to change and being lazy, but I know people that aren't like that. carefully, because if I was to take a guess, it's probably going to be on these windmills or something. Mm -hmm. 
the hardest one I've had to do so far. All of them have been kind of straightforward. this box when there's an issue they blame it on your internet or your connection when everyone's having the same issue so you stop calling them and just wait for them to realize that they're wrong right I mean that's that's just typical service desk shit <laughs> Reminds me of the streamer that I that I watch, one of the more popular ones. He called Verizon and Verizon was like, Sir, please do not be assuming that there is an issue. <laughs> it's just that that default thing of like, oh no, the customer is an idiot. It's not our it's clearly not a problem. I mean it's, it's kind of hard because, like, on the one hand, you should give people the benefit of the doubt, but man, have I heard, like, just some stories from, su from support people, people that work in support. Just the kind of things that people do that is just, you wouldn't believe that someone would be that oblivious, but people exist. Stuff like a power cable not being plugged in. Um, someone talking about, like, oh, I'm having problems with my iPad, I cannot connect to the Wi-Fi. So they begin, so, you know, you begin to give them dis instructions, and then it becomes quite clear that the iPad they're talking about is not an iPad at all. But something completely different, that they're just calling an iPad. Another person, like... Not being able to connect to the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, no worries. Where are you? Oh, I'm at home. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm at home. I can't connect to the Wi-Fi. It's like, okay, the Wi-Fi has a range. If you're 50 fucking kilometers from the Wi-Fi, you are not going to connect to it. Just... I can understand why people in support kind of default to... Hmm, things are probably fine. I can understand that. But, at the same time, you shouldn't make that your default response. Like, at the very least, check that things are okay. And not just default to it. It's like the dude that came into... came out one day, when I was working. You know, ask me if um, opening a Blu-ray player would void his warranty when I asked him why. Because he wanted to put a hard drive inside the Blu-ray player so then he could transfer his movies to it. He called it a Blu-ray recorder. Just... I don't know, man. <laughs> Didn't think to restart, yeah. No, honestly, when when I get to that sort of... If I have to call a support desk, I'm like, okay. Can we please skip whatever script that you're following? I, I've been working in the IT industry since, you know, the age of 17. I've seen every single possible issue under the sun. I work with help desk support people myself. So, believe me when I tell you that just any sort of default troubleshooting thing you have written down in your script. I've tried it, so let's skip to the part where you escalate it, please. I don't want to sound like an ass, but yeah. <laughs> I, 
I don't know what this is. It usually works. They, they kind of understand. Okay, yeah, fine. I I'm gonna have one last look, but I think I'm gonna have to give up on this one. I just I can't see it. I don't want to drive people crazy. <laughs> but, man, I feel like I've checked everywhere. Oh, there it is. Alright, got it. Wow. That's kind of sneaky. It's just, like, Look at that. The camera has to be here. Okay, got it. That, that was sneaky. There we go. That was probably the hardest one so far. It's interesting because I've done some of the later ones and they're not... They're not that hard. Yeah, I mean... Sometimes people that work in support, they have to follow the script where they do... They are- they have to ask people, have you tried turning it on and off? And all that shit. They just have to. So... I do sympathize. But sometimes I have to be like, alright, listen, this isn't working, I need it to work now. I'm on a deadline, can- can we please just skip whatever script... ...that you're being forced to follow. Yeah. Nice. Make it work on your own, that's not an issue online. That's pretty- I only say that when, like, I've actually done- Like, I, it's not like a, that's my default position, something doesn't work, and then I say that. It's, you know, I, I do my homework, I make sure that it's not on my end, and then I go in with that. I'm like, listen, just please, just can- can we just skip this shit? <laughs> And, the, the, uh, honestly, they're pretty understanding, like, they realize, okay, yeah, fair enough. Have you tried hanging up and redialing? I know that there's a lot of people that aren't gonna get, get that. It's like, redialing? What, what? Why would a phone call be involved with the, your computer and the internet, what? time I've kind of interacted, outside of like, you know, just the larger companies that do support here in Australia, right, call centers, outside of that, the only time I've come across like just lazy IT people were the ones that used to run the IT department in my high school. Like those guys, man, they could not be bothered. Every second day, they would get in their car and go get KFC, and they'd be out for like three hours and then come back.
They, yeah, they really, they really didn't like me. <laughs> I was on their, I was on their list. It's partly be because once, like, I really, I really needed to access a website. For schoolwork and whatever whatever crappy filter they set up on the school network, it just wouldn't let me go to legitimate sources of information. Like it was that bad. So I knew a way to bypass it, so I bypassed it. And then they had the audacity to tell me off, even though they had record of where I went. I was like, I accessed an educational resource, calm the fuck down. And I still got into trouble for it. So the way I got re revenge, like Months later, I put a bunch of pictures on my student drive, and I just named the files, like, stuff that was obviously, like, as if they were, you know, pictures of girls, right? Like, I can't remember what I named the files, but, you know, they were named in a way that you knew what those files were. Let's put it that way. And so I get called to their office, and they're like, you're in trouble. I'm like, why? It's like, we saw the files on your computer. Like, oh, so you opened my files, huh? It's like, yeah. It's like, right, so that's why you're angry. It's like, why? Because if you were, if you did open my files, then you would have known that they weren't pictures of girls. They were just pieces of text that said, go fuck yourself. That's why you're angry. So, you know, not only did you invade my privacy, but you did it to look at pic supposed pictures of girls. Good job. Do you, do you want to take this further? Should we go talk to the principal? And then... Never had another interaction with them again. <laughs> oh, the, the guys were just wankers. They, they really were. Just any sort of due diligence or attention to detail to their job, they just did not do. It'd be like, oh, imagine it was the equivalent of not being able to access something like Wikipedia. Like, something so fundamental for looking up information. That's, that's how bad of a job they did. Can't access Google. What's the point of having internet if you can't access Google? I mean, it wasn't Google. I don't even remember what the websites were. I just remember that I needed to look up certain information for a school project. And the websites I were going to were like, I needed to go to were legitimate sources of information. And it wasn't just me that had this problem, like, other students had the problem as well and complained about it. And they didn't change it. They got... Oh, this is this is one of their, their brilliant moments. They got so frustrated at the group of students that included myself that were bypassing their stupid filter. So one of their solutions to it, because... Um, one of the ways we were getting around it was just getting to areas on the local computer that we didn't 
really have access to. So one of their brilliant solutions was disable right-click across the entire system. Can you imagine the kind of problems that caused? Imagine not being able to right-click in something like Photoshop. <laughs> like, oh man. That's something they had to reverse pretty much immediately. Because even the teachers got angry at it. Well, I didn't spot it out this time. Okay. I need to get out of the stage, it's the clown music. Oh, there. Da -da 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 -da. teenagers i was just so much more combatant let's say just jeez i think it's it's just because so my dad was always like if there was something going on where I would get into trouble, or any of us, and the reason we were getting to trouble was just bullshit, he'd be like, no, they're not in trouble. Like, for example, if... A fight, if there was a situation where I got into a fight, and it was, and it was purely because someone hit me, and I was defending myself, he wouldn't allow the school to, like, punish me at all. And so when it came to that stuff with the computers, and I got into trouble for it, he was angry at that, that they made me get into trouble for it, because I was just... The IT people weren't doing their job, and I wasn't able to access resources for my schoolwork. Did I get into fights? Ah. Uh... Once or twice? Twice. I wasn't the type to like pick fights. Both times it was a, uh, a self-defense thing. Both times it was enough for me not to get into a fight in elementary school or high school ever again. <laughs> Good. Yeah, look, I- um... Look, like... No the noises I make in games aside, right? Like put the gaming aside. I'm I'm a pretty chill person. It honestly it takes a lot for me to get frustrated and angry, like extremely angry. There's very few times in my life where that's ever happened. I never start that stuff. I feel like shit can always be resolved. As long as the person is willing to listen and talk. But when you get into a scenario where the person is effectively a Neanderthal and they're just never gonna hear you out, and they just treat you like a doormat, and they think that that's okay to do that, that's, yeah. 
something gives at a, at a certain point. Oh, this is the circus level. I like this one. Not because... Well, it's just fun. Though, this one might be tough to get the thing. Yeah, there were, there were a couple of times where I got into trouble in high school and my dad had to come and, you know, he would ask for an explanation of what I did and sometimes what I did was basically, okay, so he did nothing then, right? Oh shit, there was once that we got in trouble. And... Uh, just context, bored teenager at school, that's all you need to know. But the group of friends I, I hang out with, it was just a mix of people, but I had... Friends that were always... I guess... Let's say most of the school knew that when something was happening, these students would be involved. So, once to stress test that theory, um, we got into two groups, and we had one of those students kind of leading each group, right? And we started walking in opposite ends of the school, like, just kind of walking around, and the person in front of the group just looked like they were angry. So, pretending, of course. So... It got to the point where, you know, as we're walking around, people started joining and following because they're like, oh shit, something's about to go down. And it got to the point where just, like, a large amount of students just amassed into the oval. And the teachers just full panic calling everyone out. You know, they're pulling students out of the way, trying to get to the middle of the crowd. They get to the middle of the crowd and it's just us playing cards in the middle of the crowd. So... They tried to, uh, yeah, kind of get us into trouble for that. So, you know, the question was asked, what did I do? They explained what I did. It's like, right, so he was in the middle of the oval playing cards and there was a crowd. Is that about right? It's like, no, but he was, it was, he, he was inciting gang violence with his friends. It's like, what were they doing? They were inciting gang violence. No, they were playing cards on the school oval. Was there a fight? Well, no, but there could have been. Doesn't sound like it to me. Oh, man. I probably shouldn't say this. I don't want anyone to, like... I don't know the kind of age group of the people that watch my stuff, but, like, I don't want this to be something that someone tries. But it, it is a thing. It's just... People follow a crowd. Like, they flock. It's especially when you know that, um... I wouldn't say known troublemakers, but let's say just... Popular people are leading the crowd. Let's say that. Ooh, this one's tough because there's a time constraint on it. I can't just hang out and look in an area. I might need help. Have a have a look for it. Just the box. I was kind of half expecting it to see it, it in the crowd, but I'm not sure. I'm 
also looking in the foreground. That's the mouse. Still nothing. That's the present. It's just a time constraint that makes this annoying. What? I didn't see it. I didn't see it anywhere. Alright, one more try. I... Ugh, I mean... Unless the... Yeah. This one might be, like, one of these ones where the camera has to be in a specific spot to see it. Just need to watch more carefully. I'm trying not to go too quickly. thought for sure it would be on the stand here, like it's the most dense area. It's just being at odds against the clock. Hell. I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, this is this is quite the process having to find all these things. I'm getting a little tired. Maybe I have to climb. It might not be simple. I 
I feel like I've been very thorough. Wow, what the hell, man? <laughs> this, no one, no one sees it. No one sees it. One more, one more, one more. Ugh. These stages aren't going to be fun because it's just the timer thing. Let me just see if it's not like being sneaky. And is that the start or something? I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I can't see it. The out of time thing, that's fine. Like, I got to try again. It's just, I was trying to slow down to really look closely, but... to give up. Oh, there it is. Wow. Why is that every time I say that I find it? Sometimes you just have to slow down. Okay, well, how am I doing? <laughs> I mean, this is gonna this is gonna take forever. Do a few more, but ah, uh, I'll the way the way I'll decide this. I'll see what the other objectives are for the bosses, and if they seem like they're okay, I'll I'll see this through. But if it's like something that seems like it's just gonna be a process, I don't know. I like the stage though. <laughs> just 
Joshi with the scorched earth. Only a super Nintendo controller would let me do that. if it'll be sneaky enough to hide here. Probably not. Boxes are getting harder. Alright, well. I wonder if I have to hit a ship to get it, we'll see. Yoshi gets when he sinks the ships. Oh no. Oh good, another stage where I didn't spot it. Uh, this has two points of no return as well. Alright, let's just see if I can find it. My time... Not here? Let's just be sure. I don't want to repeat this another, another time. Wow. 
what if it's what if it's here? And I missed it because I'm just shooting too many shots. I'm watching. Okay, stop shooting. See the saddle. These almost just did a ground pound to death. It has to be before the boat. It just has to be. to be here. Look carefully. <laughs> This thing is like well hidden. Or I'm just tired, one or the other. Wait, realize it's the last day of the month, so you gotta get your car inspected. Ah, oh, it's, it's not fun. Especially if you, have to, if you have to sit around and wait for like a couple of hours. Uh, so I. Oh, why did I not see that? It's there. Okay, got it. Just about at the halfway mark. Okay. Oh, you drop it off, okay, and then just go when they call you. That's a lot easier. Yahoo. This stage was the best. This is the best stage, hands down. Look at them.
Oh, it's, a, it's already there. Aw, oh, but I wanted to see more of the stage. Boo. <laughs> One time I wanted to see more of the stage. Damn. That sucks. Okay, so what's the challenge here? Let's see. Clear quickly, clear without taking damage. Throw Bumpty at the boss's back and make him fall? What? Throw Bumpty at the boss's back. We could have pretended that I didn't see it. Yeah, but it's fine. If people want to see that stage, they can just go watch an old vault or something. Well, I already took damage. Good. I don't think there's any way to get an early hit on this thing. Oh, what the heck? So pretty much the key, the key to doing this is to get the purple goal every time. That's the only way you do the fight quick enough. So that's what it is, like, you have to do the purple goal, and that's how you, you are able to do the, the fight fast enough. There's no way to naturally do it quick enough. You just need to know that every fight has this extra way of hitting them, I guess. Throw Bumpty, like, I don't, I don't know how you would even do that. If I can't naturally figure this out without looking it up, it's just like... So what does it say? Throw at the, bo at the boss's back and make him fall. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it wants me to do here. Like, for that goal. Hang on, I think I get it. Keep one in the mouth. And then there's like a window where I can hit him again. There we go. Okay, that's what it is. That's what it means by Bumpty. Bumpty, please don't hurt me. No, no, no. 
I've already lost. Okay. <laughs> so that's all you need to do. It's fine. I got this. So I, I thought Bumpty were the background things, but it's that's the penguin apparently, Bumpty. These are Bumpty. Didn't know they had names. They have names. Bad timing. Chickens. They're just ice chickens. One twenty five, right? I can't remember. One twenty, shit. All right, I was off by three seconds. I can do it. I guess it's pretty reasonable. believe I'm gonna just go this looks like I'm gonna go all the way with this huh I mean, it's cool that it's teaching you how to do the fight in the most optimal way. Can't skip. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Look at that. Let's see, I've done that. Uh, 
Oh. I wish I had an indicator for knowing... ...which stages I've done the hide-and-seek thing. Okay, I haven't done it here. It doesn't have the indicator on the world, which is a little bit of an oversight, but okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this. Let's just... Ugh, one more stream of it. <laughs> we'll do a couple more stages. This stage is great. I'm not gonna get it because I need to throw an egg and I get the feeling it's gonna be here. Oh, no, I have to get it. Okay. Never mind. Oh, it's there. I was right. Oh my god. <laughs> Aim. There we go. The fish officially halfway with, with this world. Then I can do the other half tomorrow. And that'll that'll be it. This I can't see this game getting more content. This stage is fun. Was a good game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think the world design on this is so good. The only the only complaint I have is just soundtrack variety. I mean, put the recorder aside, even if it didn't have the recorder. Just the the same melody is the problem. Otherwise, everything else is nice. It's just... It's fun. It's wholesome. And it has challenge as well. Like, the stages I've had to do today. Not the searching stuff, but the bonus stages and the, the actual final fight. Apparently there's 22 songs. Oh, there's 22 songs, but like, how many of them have the melody, music is getting louder. Like, you can hear that at some point in every song. Like this one, even. You can hear it. <laughs> music is getting louder. Just... All of them have it. <laughs> Watch, listen. Not now. Oh, I'll point it out. Now. After this part. See? It's like very similar. <laughs> Music is getting louder. Music is getting loud all. To be fair, this one's a bit a little bit different, but you you hear it. Most of the songs have that same structure. It 
do like the lyrics. I mean, this, this, you make it sound like they're official lyrics, like, oh yeah, that's, that's what they were going for. I was just trying to describe my mental state through song. This is the stopping point for Yoshi's Crafted World. I thought I'd be done with this game again, but there's a little bit of content left to do. And in all honesty, I may as well do it at this point. It's like, yeah, I think the boss challenges are there. And there's the ultimate challenge of like doing the, f the what I did today, but better. So oh. attempt that tomorrow and then put this game to rest at last. So yeah. <laughs> One more stream of it. Uh, anyway, if you watch this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and consider clicking buttons and stuff if you want to support the channel here. Thank you to those that have done that. It does help out a lot. And uh, I'm sure at this point now, YouTube has popped up two other videos of mine if you want to see me play something else. But yeah, I'll uh, see you next time. Bye, YouTube.